Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And now that we've moved uh, King Zora, we're giving him uh, Ruto's letter. Let's head back down the stairs real fast because we need one more thing before we continue. Which we can get from the shop for 200 rupees, or we could get it for free. So, obviously I'm going to get it for free because I, why would I ever want to pay 200 rupees for a free item? I don't know. This game just discourages shopping the whole way through, pretty much. But anyway, let's get a fish over here in a bottle. Since we delivered Ruto's letter, we actually just can get a third bottle, so... You got a fish! And something might happen. It looks... You see, and something might happen. It looks so fresh and delicious. We only ever need one fish in this game, so... That's, that's just it. The shop is completely pointless now. Also catching fish, but I guess you could catch fish to sell them, maybe? If I- I've never successfully sold anything to the guy in the marketplace, so... But anyway, actually I think you have to actually talk to him and then while you're talking to him, press the button. But anyway, let's head on up the side here and go behind him. Into the great beyond. I'm going into the light. Going into the light! The light is a lot grayer than I thought it was. But anyway, Zora's Fountain. We have made it. Except that I'm still not going to do what I need to do yet, so I'm going to do my own thing. I would usually do this after the dungeon, but I'm going to do it now because I feel like now is probably a better time to do this because it might be helpful for later on. So, let's go back this way, around everything. There's a Gossip Stone, which we could explode because it's it's a lot more fun than it should be to m make those fly up into the sky. There's also a Skulltula here, so I'm going to definitely get that. There's also a boulder there that we should blow up. Let's do that. But of course, if we blow up anything near that wall, it just blows up the entire wall. So, that's that. Anyway, I'm going to also launch this because I've, it's, it's far too much fun. Beep. There it goes. Also, I think if it has a ceiling above it, it will crash and explode, so. But anyway, enough of that. Let's go into this cave here. There's also this blue rock that we can't do anything with, but we can stand next to it and it says grab. Which is weird, but anyway. Because we can't actually grab it. Great fairy fountain. How about that then? Let's see what we get for playing Zelda's Lullaby here. Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. <laughs> you got Feroar's Wind. This is a warp magic. You can use with C. Warp when you are in danger. You will teleport to the warp point when you first use the magic. You will create a warp point. When you use the magic again, you can either dispel the warp point you created last time, or warp to that point. <laughs> Remember, you can use for Feroar's for Wind only in dungeons that have a dungeon map hidden inside, okay? When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. So for always wind is quite helpful. Whenever we're in a dungeon, 
Uh, anytime we enter a room, we can use it. Uh, and it will, we can set up a, a warp point that we can teleport back to if we ever need to. Once we've used it though, it will disappear again. We have to create another one. It uses magic to use. Uh, but it's not entirely helpful, but it's helpful if you put it at the entrance of a dungeon if you need to go get something else. Or, in certain dungeons, it's quite helpful for just going to somewhere you need to go after you've got something else that you need. The warp point always is set to the door you last came through, so you need to keep that in mind. Zora's Fountain. Don't disturb Lord Jabu Jabu. King Zora the 16th. That's a lot of Zora. Wow. Anyway, here's King Lord, Lord Jabu Jabu. Now... Let's get out the fish and release it. Inside Jabu Jabu's belly. I just want to see Jabu Jabu pogging now. Anyway, now that we're here, I guess we could set the Faroa's wind. I could also show what uh, Din's fire does since we haven't used that yet. But first, Faroa's wind. Collate the glowing, glowing. That's what it's. Uh, that's definitely what it's called. And now we just sit there now. And also, if we use Din's Fire, we can take out these enemies in here just like that, except not, apparently. We need to actually take them out normally. I thought that would work, but I guess not. Have to take them out with the popcorn instead, I guess. But Din Din's Fire is good, but it's not extremely useful to us at the moment. It's going to be helpful to us much later on. Uh, but anyway, let's get out a few other things. Deku Nuts are actually going to be helpful here. As well as our fairy slingshot, so... The main thing about the Deku Nuts is that if we use them, these bubbles actually pop. So that's actually very useful. Uh, we've also got... Hang on, I kind of want to... Cancel off of that for a second. I want to actually... Get information if I can, maybe? Maybe not, I guess not. Is there any information you're going to give me, Navi? Hey. Yes. Something strange is covering the entrance. You must solve the puzzle in this room to make the entrance open. I guess that's all the information we're going to get. We need to shoot this thing hanging up there with the slingshot. It's a switch, so... And that allows us to get through here. This place is also slightly disgusting. Just don't think about it. It's fine. We can also stun this jellyfish enemy uh, with what's it called the Deku Nuts as well we can't actually uh, kill the berry either so if you touch it it will you'll be electrocuted which will stun you so try to avoid that also I might f jump down here maybe maybe I'm kind of kind of going where I probably shouldn't at the moment but it's fine uh, the main thing I want to look at though is I guess taking out this enemy like that. Uh, there's actually a little under the water spot down here. A little underwater tunnel. So let's dive into that. And take a look what's in here. Because there's actually a Deku Salesman back here. Which is quite interesting. Please shield. There we go. Ah! Momentum. Okay, what do you have to sell? I surrender. In return, I will sell you Deku Nuts. Five pieces, twenty rupees they are. Guess that's kind of a hint that you need them in here. For some things. Not necessarily, but... It's still a hint that you can use them. If you really want to. Now, there's also another door down here, but I, I don't really need to use that, so I'm going to leave that for now. Because it will all make sense later on. Just need to wait for this floating platform to come down again. Also, we're inside of a fish. How is there a floating platform like this? 
Zelda logic. It's also got spikes on the bottom, so I'm going to avoid those. Everything is moving. <laughs> Everything. Okay, quick. Get away from that. Jellyfish, I can hear it, so it's... You know. Anyway. Now that we're in, in this room... This is kind of the main room? Kind of. You! Who are you? I am Ruto, Princess of the Zoras. What? Are you saying my father asked you to come here to save me? I'd never ask anyone to do such a thing. Let her in a bottle? I have no idea what you're talking about. My father is worried about me? I don't care. Anyway, I can't go home right now. And you, get out of here, understand? Oh no! Well, let's follow her down. Are you still hanging around here? I told you to go away. I'm okay. I've been going inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly ev uh, since I was little, but Lord Jabu Jabu is very strange today. There are electrified jellyfish and strange holes around. On top of that, my precious stone was... But that's none of your business, anyway. You, go home now, understand? Okay, I will have to do that, I guess. Ah, jellyfish. Also, I want to go into this room over here real fast. Because I'm pretty sure this is optional, but I can't remember what's over here. And I want to find out. Oh, it's, uh, nothing. It's nothing, absolutely nothing. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Anyway, I need to get back over to her, which is a little bit un unfortunate, because I actually have to go all the way up here and around it now. I don't want to think about what I'm climbing. Too late now. <laughs> it's not that bad, I guess, but... If you imagine it more than you should, it's kind of bad. Anyway, down here. You're that worried about me? Then I will give you the honor of carrying me. However, I won't leave until I find the thing I'm looking for. You'd better believe me. Sure. Okay, then. Also, this is our weapon against the jellyfish. Not joking. We can actually take out the jellyfish with her, I'm pretty sure, by throwing her at them. Navi, can you tell me about these bubbles, please? Shabom. They actually have a name. I feel like it should be Shaboom or something like that. I don't know. If you try to cut it, it will bounce off your blade. Well, luckily for us, we have a princess to throw at them. And also Deku Nuts, so... It all works quite nicely for us. But anyway, back into the... Everything. I believe I can also possibly... Oh, I can't target the... Thing up there, can I? Well, that's a shame. Let me just throw her up onto this ledge, please. Thank you. Now... There's also a few other enemies in here that I want to probably avoid. Oh boy, I've made several mistakes just now, but that's okay. Let's go up here past this gold skull floor for a second. It's actually quite nice that we can come up here because there's a few things for us. I'm gonna drop that on you. Oh, I've missed. That's fine. For one thing, this pot has a fairy in it. And I need a new fairy in my third bottle, so... Since we got rid of the fish. There we go. There's also some other refills that we can get here. Mainly Deku Seeds, apparently. Which actually is good for getting rid of that Skulltula, so let's do that. But yes, hitting that switch in the middle of the room raises the water level in here. For a bit. Ah, uh, but you can't let Ru Princess Ruto be in the water when it goes up too high, otherwise she'll disappear and go back to the room where we've picked her up, so... Grab that. And that's why you need to throw her onto the ledge. Up, uh, please. Okay, that should be everything in this room. Let's keep going. And now... 
once we go through this door over here. Also, we can throw her at the switch up there to make her activate it for us. Other helpful things. Let's grab her up again and go through this door. And this is the door that I didn't go into earlier. It's so helpful that you can just drop things by shielding. Oh, blue rupee. It's gone now. It's all, it's okay. Just need to wait for this platform to come back down and then we can continue exploring other parts of this dungeon. This dungeon is not too long, long, which is lucky. It feels extremely short once you get through it, so. It's just got a lot of enemies. And you have to figure out what you're supposed to do, but other than that, it's really simple. Okay, gotta be careful of all the holes in here. And the jellyfish. And speaking of jellyfish, over here there should be a big one, which has blades coming out of it. It's the same as the other ones, apparently, though. No other extra information, but you can stun it, which is helpful for getting past it, so. Okay. Moving on this way. This is an area we haven't been into before. Ha! Ah, what is this? Tail pas Pasaran. Its tail is its weak point. Well, there's not much we can do about that, though, because they can't be... I don't think we can defeat them with anything other than Princess Ruto, probably. Oh, boy. Just go, just go, just go. A lot of these rooms are blocked off by these weird pulsing things. Also, the ground here moves us in the direction that it's flowing as well. Ah, uh, but now I'm going to drop Princess Ruto there because it's a blue switch. Let's go into here. Oh, I can't do anything in here. That's fine. How inconsiderate. How could you leave me behind? If you're a man, act like one. Take responsibility. And then she sits back down again. And this is basically her being annoyed at you for leaving her behind a little bit. But you have to in some cases, so. Or I guess you could take one of the crates from one of the earlier rooms and take it all the way here. But why would you need to do that when you have Princess Ruto? I've always done it with Princess Ruto, so. This switch! It doesn't look like you can press it down with your weight alone, Link. Cool. So this switch needs either Princess Ruto or one of the crates from an earlier room to better press down. Okay, what's in here? Oh, these things. These things are annoying. Also, what are they called? A stinger. Destroy it before it flies into you. Good advice. Ow, 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 ow. Come on. They have so much invincibility frames. You can also walk over them to get them out of the ground. But if you want to get them out quickly and all at once, you can use sticky nuts, which isn't that helpful since they take a while. But anyway, let me take you out. Like that. I think that's all of them. Hello, treasure chest. Funny seeing you here. Let's open that up. Also, if you stand in wearing where a treasure chest spawns, you'll get pushed up on top of it. Which is cool. But anyway, we got the boomerang. Press C to use it uh, to attack distant enemies. This is, uh, this is like the coolest item to get at this point. It's just so cool because we can aim with it and it'll go in a direction then come back to us. We don't even need to target it. We can just do whatever we want. But this is going to be helpful on the other side where we couldn't do anything before. Also with the jellyfish we can d kill them now with the boomerang and also these things. That we couldn't take out before except for using Princess Ruto. So anyway, let's head on over to the other side and do that now that we have the boomerang. Up we go. Perfect, 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 perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay. So this thing now we can also take out with the boomerang. 
parasitic tentacle. It seems that the narrow part is its weak point. You need to a particular item to destroy it. Well, it's a good thing we have that particular item. We also need to kind of... No, come on. We also need to kind of walk in the middle of the screen of the room to try and avoid it. If you're just moving sideways somewhat, you can pretty much avoid it and not have to worry about being hit, so... And still be able to hit it, so... Just keep walking sideways, pretty much. But there we go. And there's another treasure chest. Which is probably the dungeon map, which isn't that going to be... Not going to be that helpful at this point. Since we're almost done, pretty much. It's a really short dungeon. Okay, there we go. We can take a look at that, I suppose. Only two floors, we've gone to most of the rooms already. Very nice. I didn't mean to grab that. <laughs> Hashtag C stick problems. Okay. Ruto, let's go. And because we took out the red tentacle, anytime we saw a red tentacle blocking our path, we can actually go through here now. The red slimy thing is gone. That must be because you cut the red tail. Will that work with the other ones too? Because there are a couple of other ones that we haven't really seen, but have seen, kind of. All that really matters is I'm going to get rid of them all, so. Also, this room is interesting because we have a time limit. But we also have Deku Seeds. Well, Deku Nuts, that's the one. So we can just do it in two seconds. I'm pretty sure I've been in this room before and panicked because of having to deal with the time limit. It's not that bad, though. <laughs> Even without... Um... Deku Nuts. Also, the bubbles can be popped with the boomerang as well, so... The compass. Anything else that we need to worry about in the dungeon? Probably not. Well, there's the boss on the first floor. We have to do a few other things first, so... Gotta grab those seeds. Okay, Ruto, let's keep going. And I guess while we're going through here, I can show... The other tentacles. We saw one which I think was greenish in the main room where we first met Ruto. There's also this grey one over there. So let's keep going over this way. Ah, It's fine. Oh hey, Rupee. There used to be a red one here in the way. Ah, but here's the other, here's the tail of the green, grey one. I know my colours. Keep doing this. No, don't do that. Here we go. I don't even think there's any other treasure in this room. No. Well, let's go then. And because we got rid of that, that means we can go into the top most room. So let's do that. There really isn't any point to, um, what's it called? What's it called? Furore's wind, because of how short this dungeon is. But I mean, it's there if we really need to get out, so. But the boomerang is what you're supposed to have used to get the heart pieces in Zora River. Because whenever you have the boomerang, you can actually repool stuff back towards you. That includes refills of items, uh, heart pieces, all of the good things, so. But anyway, let's get rid of you, please. Please, please, please. Please. Oh my goodness, control stick, please. There we go. And that should be everything in this part of the dungeon. Come on, Ruto, let's go. Camera's being a little bit weird, but that's okay. So now we can head back into the main room, and there was one of the holes that had uh, that tentacle in the way is now open to us. So let's just sneak around there and go into here. There's also, I'm also tempted to check out that other room that we saw before. I guess it's not that far away. Can also take out these 
Skulltalas. You basically have to aim with Link's head with the boomerang. Oh, come on. I was close. And this allows us to actually get the gold Skulltal tokens like that. I wish I could target multiple things at the same time, like in Wind Waker. Because then I could just get both of them at once and all that. But anyway. Uh, I'm going to be back in just a second. I'm going to just quickly check what's in this room over here. It's probably just rupees. But anyway. Uh, let's take you out with the boomerang, I guess. Since I probably can do that. Yeah, I can. Do that. And also the boomerang stuns that wobbly thing in the middle of the room, so... Which allows us to stand on it for a little bit. Rupees and a fairy. Okay. It's quite generous, really. Whoa! That was a bit... bit risky. Now, can I... or can I not... get the fairy with my boomerang? Apparently not. You might be able to, but I missed, so... It's not that important, but anyway. Now we just need to climb around again. It's interesting that that's there, though, because it's, there's no real, real reason to go there except for maybe the fairy. I guess the rupees as well, but not as much. Also, why is Ruto over here? I don't know. I'm going to pick her up, though, and take her to where we need to go because she needs to come with us. Okay, come on. It's probably because this is just one big room. Probably? I don't know. Anyway, down the hole. And let's go down this hallway. That's it! That's what I've been looking for! Throw me up there! Onto the platform! I don't know, I guess so. Princess Ruto got the spiritual stone. But why Princess Ruto? Oh my goodness, I finally found my mother's stone. I got very upset when Lord Jabu Jabu swallowed it. While I was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. I was so surprised I dropped it inside. But now that I've found it, I don't need to be he in here anymore. So, take me home right now. Kyaaah! What is that? This? An octopus? Okay, it's time for a mid-boss. Big Octo! Attack it from behind. Okay, so let's use the boomerang to stun it. And we're gonna probably want uh, sticks out for this, probably. Since that should be helpful. I don't know what other weapons you can use on it, but you can use quite a few things. Once it comes out of its stun, it will be spinning for a bit, and you need to try and stun it again while it's spinning. You can also hold the boomerang out while not using it. But any one jump attack with a stick will take it out in one go, so... It's quite useful to, useful to have sticks on hand, so... But anyway... But yeah, you can hold out the boomerang and while targeting something and like that, so... Anyway, let's go up, leaving our boomerang behind, apparently. I'm sure it's fine. Ah! Camera! <laughs> it did not like that at all. Anyway, one of these pots should have... a fairy in it. That we don't need, so... And some Deku Nuts, apparently. But anyway, let's keep moving on. Get rid of these things. Is it weird to say that I like this dungeon? I don't know. It's fine. Now, I don't think there's anything else to worry about here. So we need... to take out... oh, there's that thing there. We need to stun these things. So we can get past. Also, you're gonna be annoying, aren't you? That's fine, let me just jump. Let me just go, just go, just go. 
You have to freeze both of those. But they only they only stay like that for a limited amount of time, so we need to be fast. Anyway, back over here. This is a room we've been in before. Just up above, because we're up higher now. Let's press that down. I can't imagine how that feels to the fish. Ah, uh, but now, we actually have an extra area open to us now. Which is the last area in the dungeon. So let's go ahead and go over here. With this box, which I mentioned earlier, that exists. Press that open. Drop the box on the switch. And let's go. Okay. Let's take out some of these enemies, I guess. So that they won't bother us. There's quite a few of them. There's also... Another Skulltula here. For us, which I think is the last one. Fairly sure. Let's grab that. How many gold Skulltulas do we have now? 25! That's a lot more than I realized. Okay then. Anyway, we need to head up here before we go to the boss. Because we need... To go up here and target that. There's a wall in the way here so we can't shoot through it. Uh, but if we use the boomerang, it'll go around. Hitting the switch, maybe. Hopefully, if I stand close enough. And that allows us to go down. Also, side jumping is nice because if, if you, if you, like, um, hang on. So if you throw the boomerang and then side jump, it should allow you to hit the switch and also go down. But also, I, apparently, that switch reactivates if you hit that. Well, that's interesting. I didn't realize that you could do that. I'm, that's an unfortunate, really, because I have to go up there and activate it again. It means I might be able to actually do the trick properly without reactivating the door. But anyway, that's really interesting. Let's just do that, and there we go. This is what I call efficiency with inefficiency. But anyway, let's go in. Bioelectric an anim anim ah, anomaly. Baronade. I think that's how it's said, but anyway. Baronade, yeah. Many parasitic jellyfish swarm around this monster. Aim for its body, protected by jellyfish. I think this would be a really cool boss to have in a newer Zelda game. Like, in the middle of a thunderstorm? In the sky or something? I don't know, that'd be, uh, that's just my opinion. I just think it'd be really cool. Anyway, we need to take out, out its connections to the ceiling like that, while dodging its attacks from above. With its laser things, I guess. I don't know. We want to use jump attacks with sticks to do a lot of damage to the main base of the body. We can also take out the jellyfish detached from it, as long as no lines are attached to them. Okay, but taking out that takes us to the second stage, which means that we have to do things differently now. But pretty much the same at the same time, so... Just need to stun it, if I can. Might help to be going in a different direction, maybe. Come on. I know I can do this. No, don't do that. Do that, please. Oh, it's stopping anyway. It's good for us, because that means we can do some damage to its shell, I guess. To the jellyfish around it. Come on. Ah, one more. Just one more. Now that there's only one left though, it makes, me, makes it a lot easier for us to stun it. Makes it a lot easier for us to stun it. Makes it a lot easier for us to stun it. Oh my goodness, the one jellyfish shield. The legends were true. Let's do that, okay. Now dodging its laser beams. Or beams, just regular beams. Let's try to stun it. Okay, stick, jump attack. Okay, just dodge now. Just dodge, just dodge, just dodge. Okay, there's also pots on the sides of the room if you need health. 
Okay, let's stun it, please. And jump attack with a stick. Still going. This should be it, though, in a second here. Donkey Kong 64, Donkey Kong 64, Donkey Kong 64. You can't get me. I'm, I play Donkey Kong 64. It's just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, we are done here. Grab its heart container. Very nice. And let's go into the light with Ruto. <laughs> you, you're late. What took you so long? You're useless. I was just lonely, that's all. I just a little. You. You looked cool. Cooler than I thought you would. Anyway. Just a little. Well, anyway. You saved me, so I guess I'll reward you. What do you wish? Just tell me. I want the spiritual stone. Or nothing, really. I want the spiritual stone. You mean the spiritual stone of water? The Azora Sapphire? Don't you? My mother gave it to me, and said I should give it only to the man who would be my husband. You might call it the Zora's engagement ring. Alright. I'll give you my most precious possession. Zora Sapphire. You obtain Zora's Sapphire. This is the spiritual stone of water passed down by the Zoras. Her most precious possession? You don't know what she is talking about, but you finally collected all three spiritual stones. Go back to see Princess Zelda. Don't tell my father. <laughs> and there we go. And that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.